For the summer, the CEO of the CYO, Mr. John Spitazzo, announced that after 38 years, he is going to be hanging them up. To talk about his experience, it's Mr. John Spitazzo himself. John, great to see you today. Welcome to THN. Thanks, Mike. 38 years, what a career it's been for you. Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe. It's, it's funny, I don't think I've smiled this much. <laughs> <laughs> smiled because you've done such a great job or you know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> a little bit a little, of both, A little maybe. bit of both. A little bit of both. But in all seriousness, you're 38 years at the CYO. Yeah. You've seen a lot. You've been through a lot. Um, what stands out for you? Uh, wow. There, there are so many... Um, moments in my uh, my little career that stand out. I think the young people. Mm -hmm. um, we we operate two major facilities with Camp Rebuff and Camp Marydale and when we roll in in the morning it's quiet because there's no children there. As soon as those buses roll in and you think of even our summer camps, as soon as those buses roll in it comes to life. The, the, there's so much energy, there's enthusiasm and excitement and it's laughter as we've said many times before, just hearing young people laughing, yes. well, I don't know what they're talking about. We Doesn't really matter. don't even care. Yeah. They're having fun and they're away from so many distractions. And in the last five years, the distractions have been pretty heavy for our, our young people. So that has been the highlight and the hardest thing to, to I'll say, walk away from. Yeah, the, these last few years with, with COVID, uh, with, with what's been going in the world uh, politically, you yeah. know, it affects the kids. We have so many more screens and tablets now. Yeah. Uh, you have really seen the ups and yeah. downs of, of what children have had to go through. Yeah, it, it has been, uh, it's been pretty bizarre and it, it's tough for children. And we think, I thought maybe 20 years ago it was tough for children, but it's tougher now. But the experiences that they get when they come to camp is what it's all about. And the other things I remember is, is we do a lot of work in the community. Um, as we have a lot of two, two major facilities, we have contractors that come on property on a regular basis, whether it's for repairs or infrastructure uh, additions. And I would venture to say 99.9% .9 of the time, one of those contractors or one of those laborers says, I remember Camper Buff. Mm -hmm. I remember Camp Marydale. I came here as a kid. I ran cross country. So the impact that we have had as in, on an agency in the entire community, both in the Catholic community and beyond, I'm pretty proud of. And that's, that's a highlight. You create memories. Uh, your staff and you, you have created a, a legacy, a, a wonderful legacy. And I've been very fortunate since uh, we've been talking the last few years uh, and being up at your event, hosting, hosting them you get that real sense of camaraderie and togetherness yeah and when you're you're hosting these events it's normally a lot of business people but when you come to yours you got the kids yeah. and they just lighten everything up everyone's smiling you got the choir going they are our future yeah and you're much. giving them the opportunity an outlet really yeah very much and and to that point um you have hosted and emceed our event for the last few years and we thank you for that and being there, the energy in that room, the one thing about CYO is that people say, we're fun. Mm -hmm. And what we do is fun. There's, there's obviously there's structure, uh, there's a serious side of things, but when people come to that event, half of the room is full of educators, the other half are business people, everyone gets along, it's just a little party. Mm -hmm. And it's a party because they're raising money, we're raising money to help the disadvantaged financially and physically to come to our programs. Bringing kids to camp and uh, you've had some special guests and it's great to talk to those youngsters, the families and the caregivers and seeing how how they talk about the CYO and Camp Rebuff and Marydale and how much they enjoy it and they see the smiles on their youngsters in their lives. Yeah, it's an easy sell <laughs> and yeah. it's easy to go to work. Yeah. And you mentioned it, staff. The staff are remarkable. The countless hours. It's not a conventional job where you show up at 9 and you finish at 5, or you show up at 8 and finish at 4. We're showing up at 6 and finishing at 6. We do 12-hour days. We do 2-hour days. We do 4-hour days. But it's all, there, there is a vocation and there is a passion to what we do. Mm -hmm. Whether you enjoy sport, whether you enjoy uh, children, whether you enjoy camping, ministry, it's enjoying, and I will say, 
in, in 38 years, I've enjoyed eh, 38 years. Every year has been fantastic because of the staff and of course the, uh, the young people that we serve. It's pretty cool. You, you, you've, you've seen a lot, you've heard a lot over the 38 years and so much of it has been fun, but you have also had your valleys yeah. where you've had to really bear down, dig deep, mm -hmm. have some tough conversations uh, with the staff, uh, maybe with the, with the odd parent from time to time. But it's all part of the process and how you run your organization, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day when I don't compare to COVID and we don't talk about the challenges. But there's no question COVID had a significant impact on the agency. Mm -hmm. And I, a positive impact in some ways, it forced us to be creative. It forced us to try something new and different. And as a result of that, we have implemented and created some really significant new programs for the agency. But the staff, we lost so many of our staff as a result of COVID due to the fact that we had to lay off and due to the fact that they needed to, to move on. And most of them did. Um, and I don't begrudge any of that, but it hurt. Those were the hard times. Mm -hmm. And even prior to that, they were good, they're all good times. There's challenges with the economy. There's challenges with different circumstances, but nothing um, that drove me away um, other than the fact that after 38 years, I think I've given it a good go. And I'm, I'm so happy and I'm looking forward to the new direction that the agency is going, especially the new leadership that the agency is uh, embarking on. Well, you, you've set that up beautifully for us, John. So we're going to be taking a short break. And when we come back, we are going to be meeting the new CEO and executive yeah. director of the CYO. I know you had some say in this as well. And we're going to have the two of you on the set together having a nice little chat. You ready for that? Right on. Thanks, Mike. All right. Beautiful. Uh, Hamilton, when we come back, we will be joined by the new CEO of the CYO, Mr. Brett Martin. Stay with us. Well, as we uh, just caught up with the CYO CEO, John Spatazzo, now retired, now we want to hear from the incoming CEO, Mr. Brett Martin. Welcome to both of you, Brett. It's a pleasure to have you here on set in Cable 14. Welcome. Thanks for having us, Mike. Uh, what, what a great opportunity. Uh, John, introduce Brett to the community and what you saw in him and what you see in him as the next leader of for the sure. CYO. For sure. Uh, what have I seen in Brett? Brett is a, a remarkable young man. Um, I have known Brett for a number of years um, because as a, a young camper and a staff member, I'd like to say that he was an exceptional staff, ma staff member. <laughs> he was, an, exce he was a, <laughs> an exceptional staff member that gave challenges. Um, <laughs> maybe that was the crowd you hung around. But <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless. Um, the CYO is probably um, embarking on some of its uh, best times ahead. And a lot of that, uh, much of that has to do with, uh, with Brett's vision going forward. Um, Brett does have a plan. He has a vision for the CYO. We're, uh, we're almost 70 years in existence as an agency. And Brett coming in as the, um, the fifth executive director, director speaks a lot to what the CYO is and about the leadership. Um, Brett's involvement in the community is remarkable uh, from a football coach to a volunteer to working within his parish community um, when Brett was selected by the board of directors uh, in June um, we made that phone call we notified Brett and from that day on Brett and I have communicated on a regular basis mm -hmm. and probably in the last uh, two months we've communicated on a daily basis yeah. um, he just wants to work he wants to help the agency and he loves the young people and that's a that is that's more important than any book that you could open uh, any education that you come with uh, not that that is uh, discarded but the passion and the interest in in what uh, you have done in the past is going to carry Brett and the CYO for many many years appreciate that Brett we'll we'll give it to you now you're, you're, you're pivoting uh working with Philomena Tassi for so many years, you're now coming to a not-for-profit. Welcome. <laughs> Talk to us about what you see and, and what this opportunity means for Brett Martin. Well, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity that, um, you know, CYO has been built 
over the decades on the backs of a lot of thousands of volunteers, past executive directors, our outgoing executive director, John Spatazzo, 18 years in the role and has c contributed significantly to building, growing our programming. And um, going forward, I know I've benefited from this program significantly. At four, year, four years old, I went to Camp Marydale. That was my first experience. From then on, I went on to continue in summer camp, the athletics, um, become a coach in the athletics, work my summers uh, through Camper Buff up in Rockwood, throughout all high school, and I'm a product of this organization. I know the benefits that can be reaped by the youth in our community, and I know the importance of continuing this strong organization. There's a lot of support with our community partners, and I'm looking forward to continuing that work with everyone, with the team. It can't, can't, be, can't be done without the team. Yeah. Like, everyone's worked hard on this, and uh, it's, there's a strong case to continue this, especially for the youth um, growing that will become our leaders tomorrow. And, uh, and, and, and our youth today, they need an outlet like the CYO yeah. and the camps and the various programs that you find folks offer. Yeah, and there's a lot of there's a lot of distractions out there mm -hmm. for youth. It's a hard time to, you know, grow up and, you know, go through those developing years and, you know, with all the distractions, social media and stuff. So maintaining a connection and working with school boards, working with educators to intertwine outdoor education into education in general is crucial. It, it's it's an outlet like you said. It gives kids leadership skills that they would not have otherwise to develop, make their own decisions, and go on tomorrow and lead us um, the way we need them to. And, and of course, partnerships are so important. You, you, you mentioned a few, and John, I know that you had a significant role in bringing so many partnerships together, but bringing in some new, new voices, uh, new organizations to breathe extra air and oxygen yeah. into the CYO I think is so important too. It, it is and you know my past career experience um, I have to you know give thanks a lot to the Honorable Philomena Tassi, my, mm -hmm. my, my former boss she was fantastic and I've developed a lot of the skills in the, in the half decade working with her and, and her team and all the team members uh, <laughs> that I'll really miss working with um, sincerely uh, it, it, was, it was an absolute honor but in that work, you, you develop so many community connections uh, from, from small business to working with massive corporations. Um, it, it's really diverse, and I look to hone those skills, continue the work with our present community partners, justify the case that the support is needed, the support is justified for our youth today, yeah. grow our partnerships and develop, um, continue to safely expand our, our impact. 45,000 youth on an annual basis access our programming. So that's 45,000 youth that are having a positive impact and coming away, going back into their lives. And whether they participate just in, you know, one volleyball, basketball game, flag football game, or they're coming for a week of camp and becoming volunteers in the long term, workers in the long term for the organization, uh, these are years that they'll never forget. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I really look forward to. Um, enhancing that you 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 create memories and and you've been doing it for so long and it's all about bringing the right people in saying mm. the right things knowing how to handle situations and it's all part of the team and John as you we have to wrap up here as you pass the baton <laughs> some words of wisdom to Brett and and what he can expect as he goes into this role maybe you've already said it to him before but you're in constant communication yeah. what do you got to say I I will tell Brett that expect good times, yeah. expect a lot of fun, expect uh, satisfaction in your job. And there is, there's one thing about this job that is the most rewarding thing is being satisfied with the, the ultimate results, whether it's at your hands or the hands of your staff. Uh, and as we uh, talked about earlier, just the young people and giving them a respite and giving them a break from the, the strains, the stresses, and the distractions of society is what CYO does best. Yeah, yeah. And without question, Brett knows all this and Brett will crush it. Yeah. 
I will add one more thing. You know, in our introductory meeting with uh, His Excellency Bishop Douglas Crosby yesterday, mm -hmm. I, I did say, you know, should I be blessed enough to be in John's position now, 30 years from now, and I can look back on a career and say, what a beautiful life. So nice. that's, that's the end goal. Well, okay. we, we look forward to working with you. Brett, uh, you will have Cable 14 as a partner. You're always Thank welcome you. here at Thank THN, you for your Hamilton Life, any other programs. We're here to back you guys, uh, to both of you. Thank you so much. To Thank John, you. this is not goodbye. This is we'll see you around. <laughs> 18 days to go. <laughs> He's got the countdown on. Good stuff. We look Thanks, forward to man. seeing you. Thank all you. All the best and uh, congratulations and all the success to you as you move on with your new career. Thank you, Mike. Hamilton, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time, right here on THN. Mike Fortune's hair service is provided by Russ's Men's Hairstyling, located at 801 Mohawk Road West in the Harvard Square Mall.